Thank you for joining me for our August 2023 Real Estate Market Update. I'm Karen Cox, the broker of record at c Ski Realty. August was a bit of a surprise weather-wise, with unseasonably cool and wet days, leading some to coin the term October and posing a challenge to cottage goers and day trippers to Gray County, hoping to enjoy our shorelines and hiking trails. The number of new listings across Gray County increased by 18% in August, rising to 279 from the 237 in July, a difference of 42 units month over month. The listing to sale ratio remains the same as it's been all summer, 70 to 30, still strongly in favor of listings. Sales also improved in August, growing from 102 in July to 122 this month, a difference of 20%. But before we get into all of that, if you watch and enjoy this video, please let us know by giving it the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Now, let's get back into the market report. Compared with the same month in 2022, August 2023 shows a 23% increase in the number of new listings for the month. The number of sales has also improved from 92 last August to 102 in 2023, a 33% gain. The average sale price for a home in Gray County was a little lower again in August, falling by 5% from the $755,000 to $718,000. The average home in Gray County took 43 days to sell in August, and the same as in July, and only one more day than in August of 2022. In August, six months of inventory were available across Gray County, down slightly from the 7 in July and August of 2022. For the latest information on what's happening in real estate market in your part of Gray County, click the link in the caption for our August real estate market update. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button for more local real estate news and information for Gray County. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again next month.